here we go. How do I get down there without hurting myself? There we go. There he is. What is going on there guys, it's Moto7 here, and welcome to the final level on Painkiller Battle Out of Hell. So we are obviously fighting a boss, maybe Alistair again, finally you know, actually killing him. <laughs> so, let's see. Maybe you want to change that to that one. And, uh, yeah. Let's get him. Oh boy. Oh. It's just gonna give me all of them in a row. Getting intense, boys. I like this music. Wow, they did they did actually a good job on this. I'm not gonna lie. I like the fog effects, the rain. Makes you feel like you're about to fight something crazy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Leave no ammo behind. Oh, my favorite gun. Armor and mega health. We are pretty much maxed out. Almost. It gave us a good amount. Alright. Here we go. How do I get down there without hurting myself? There we go. There he is. Oh boy. Is he taking damage? Oh boy. Okay. What are these circles for? Ow. I just noticed these circles. Do I have to stand in it or something? And then hit Ow! Okay, run away. What happened? Oh, it's not... It's not sparkling anymore. Oh! I can hurt him now. Kill him. Yeah, I got him, baby. Okay. <laughs> These cards make it too easy, I swear. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I stood in the circle. It stopped sparkling, and then... He was vulnerable, and I was able to kill him. <laughs> we got it! Oh, and the card was less than four minutes. I didn't even know that. Okay. Health Stealer. 2.5% of the damage to energy enemy ghost player's health. Okay. Oh, end cutscene. Hello, Daniel. Huh? Eve, how'd you get here? I've been following you from the beginning, Daniel. I must admit, I've been here for what seems like all of eternity. And I've never seen anyone as tenacious as you. Let's just say I was... motivated? <laughs> yes, Daniel. You are a man of conviction, driven by your conscience and emotions. But your emotions for others, not yourself. You have literally been through hell and back. You turned away from your rightful place at your wife's side in heaven to save me. A soul whose fate was decided when the Earth was still young and new. No sin is too great to be forgiven. 
<laughs> of course, that's not for you to decide. Now, is it? And where will you go now? What will you do now that you've finished Samael's work? I've done what I was asked. My destiny is to be at Catherine's side. That's where I belong. She's getting closer. As soon as we get out of here. Yes, Daniel. It's time for you to Remember go. what she said about that? But not me. You have your destiny. And I have mine. Eve! No! Bing bing! Plot twist. <laughs> Since you walked in the garden, sweetheart. Yep. Nope. You've got nothing I want. Nope. So, you've made your choice then. I suppose there's nothing left to say except. Thank you. Wrong again, Eve. I think we have plenty to talk about. Oh boy. Okay, Eve a demon now. <laughs> Should have kind of seen that coming, since in the first cutscene she said, "Don't come near the demon, as you'll absorb their energy." And now you have all the power, which she obviously did. So, uh, a little bit of foreshadowing and plot twist at the end there. But anyway, guys, that was Painkiller and Painkiller Battle Out of Hell. I hope you guys enjoyed these series. They were a lot of fun. And like I said, they they aren't too bad. They look decent, especially for the time being when they were made. There are a lot of things that could have been fixed and patched and all this and that. But it was still fun, old school kind of game. I enjoyed it. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this series. And as always, this is Mona7 here, signing off.